think it's a bunch of bull Trump ain't done that wrong. The thing Trump done is, is saved this country. They're not going to let it stop. Mm-hmm. They can't stand the fact that he's running for president. And I am a Donald Trump fan. It, it's uh, probably altered, um, but it's just typical, typical uh, liberal propaganda. None of the Republican voters CNN spoke with had read the indictment. No, I wouldn't waste my time on a phony indictment. I don't care about the indictment. indictment. You could, hey, you could indict a baloney sandwich. What he did is incorrect. Absolutely incorrect. But the system allowed it to happen. The system is broken. It needs to be fixed. Lock him up! Lock him up! Lock you up! Yeah, you had your support Hillary Clinton. She done a lot wrong. Uh, You're an idiot. Oh, democracy. I think you're going to be okay. I look, this isn't really, this isn't, again, as I always say when we show regular people or whatever, this is not about the individual regular people. I, I trust based on experience of years that they are representative. Um, these are people in their 40s, 50s, 60s, 70s who are like, look, let's keep it real. You saw the video. They are struggling to say the little bit, like the line that they had heard about a bologna sandwich or no, I don't. I'm not gonna like look at the specific charges. He's trying to save America. They like fall back on these like vague slogans. They're full grown adults that are. They're just, look. It's a complex, chaotic world, and they're doing their best to yeah. survive in it. And just they've been conned by massive grifters who have no respect for them. So I do feel bad for these people. But there is a significant chunk of the country that are like them. They don't care what he's been charged with. They will never believe it. Literally. If it's from his own mouth, an audio recording of him saying it, that he is not even denying yet that he said. He's he's lied about a lot. He's not even denying that the tape is true. Um, they will not believe it because it's easier to just go on with their, their preconceived notions about him. It is unfortunate. Yeah, obviously it goes beyond the shooting someone on Fifth Avenue, which by the way, a lawyer said it would have been more beneficial to him to have shot someone on Fifth Avenue than to have kept this many classified documents mm-hmm. and obstructed justice. Yeah, he could be he could be drinking the adrenochrome of a small child live on air and they'd be like, no, yeah. that's a deep fake. Um, <laughs> but here's the thing about Trump. Voters, and you do kind of, I mean, I feel you feeling for them, and you do kind of feel for them. And two things one, I think they should all be asked, could it be possible that you, sir, are being played? Are you being grifted on? Are you being um, fooled by Donald Trump? Like, that is the question. It's not, do you think this happened? Do you think it not? Ha- it didn't happen? It's not the specifics. It's, is he playing you? And I think that's a that's what all these folks need to answer. And the second thing is, sir, don't you realize you can still be racist without Donald Trump? And I want everyone to know, if you've got a family member, let them know. They can still be bigots, they yeah. can still be terrible. The Republican Party, sadly, is going to continue to exist. I think there was a Confederate flag on one of those individuals. And I love the, the automatic assumption that if you don't like Trump, that you like Hillary Clinton. Um, I would like to assure that gentleman. Uh, I'm living proof that is not necessarily the case.